Hello all you bladers. Today we're unboxing Screw Trident. So have fun, watch the video, and let it rip. Screw Trident is owned by the all favorite character Vault Aoi's little brother, Toko Aoi. And he was actually released in Beyblade vs Turbo, but it is a god bay that comes with eight bump and wedge. So this is Screw Trident without the stickers, observe. And now we're gonna put the stickers on. So looking at all the details everywhere and everything, the black dots here and the white stuff here makes it look way better. The teeth are actually shorter than the slopes if you look at it, just barely, so it's not gonna have great teeth. Now the gimmick in the anime was that these three points are rubber, and then when you hit the rubber points, they would convert it into spin power. Not like Fafnir, Fafnir, it's kind of like when you push it, it picks up the spin, but this isn't spin steel. It's like you just hit a point and it converts it into energy. So it's not like immediately picking up the spin. You have to convert it into energy. Now, if you look at this, it's not rubber. It's covered with plastic. So there's actually no rubber exposed. Now, this is Val This is a Volt's brother. So he obviously took some imp inspiration from Valkyrie with the three large blades and then the three short blades here. And overall, just the three-bladed shape. Um, I gotta say, it looks pretty nice. You know, it looks kind of like a clean bumblebee. I don't know why it reminds me of that, but it looks pretty cool. And it doesn't look too hollowed out, pretty thick for a god layer. Next, we have the eight and bump frame. So the eight disc came on, came on Drain Fafnir. It is actually heavier than 8 Dash, which 8 Dash is the upgraded version. It has more stamina, but 8 has more weight, barely 1 gram though. It does look smaller, that's just because the holes are smaller. It does have these four metal points here. Now the bump frame is my absolute favorite frame. I just really love the design and how it like makes it look like from the top point of view, like these little spikes and the armor and just like the overall performance and how it's like kind of smooth to the right, but like sharp to the left. It's just, you know, it's a pretty good disc, obviously. Now that they're in Beyblade vs. Turbo and Toko just made his God Bay in Turbo, he could use something like Double O, but it's all good. Finally, we have the Wedge driver and it does look pretty clear, actually. I expected it to pretty much just be yellow all around and then the tip is metal, kind of like orbit metal, but this entire thing is metal. Now, if you remember, well, I'm I don't, I'm not sure any of you will remember this because it's kind of new, but Jet Wyvern comes with the Just Driver and it's like really big, but it has a very sharp and like thin tip at the end. Now this isn't like the Just Driver, obviously. It doesn't have a really thick free spin ring but the very tip, it's actually pretty thin. So I don't know if this guy will be all the more stable. And because this entire plate is metal and it's sharp tipped, it's gonna cause less friction with the stadium. And it it's like very thin. So I don't think wedge is gonna be that good. That's just me. I think it'll be bad because it's like metal. So like less friction anyway, it's gonna get knocked around. Um, Obviously, it has a pretty thin thing, so it's going to be able to destabilize. Not like Jet Wyvern, obviously, but I think that Wedge will be not that good, in my opinion, at least. So now that we've gotten over all the parts, let's actually put the bay together and feel the teeth, which earlier, I assumed that they wouldn't be that good. Okay, let's hear the teeth. First click. It's pretty big, but it's pretty loose. Same thing, same thing. Yeah, so they're pretty big teeth. Like when you click them, you can feel like a stickiness, but it's all really that loose. It's really loose. Like it's definitely tighter than Crash Ragnarok and Hazard Kerbius, which is good, but it's not like Emperor Fornius tight or Z Achilles tight. It's kind of like in the middle. Like its teeth are tight to the point where it won't burst from small attacks, but if it's up against something like Z Achilles in attack mode, it could maybe burst. Chosey Valkyrie, Chosey Achilles definitely burst. So the teeth aren't the greatest, but they're not that good. They're not that good. I mean, they're not super bad. They're kind of like, if I had to rank them on a scale of one to 10, I would say that the teeth are six, maybe seven at the best, but six. 
So now we are weighing the parts. First, the layer should be pretty heavy. 13 grams, that's not, about, that's not that bad. I mean, it doesn't have a metal chip core or metal god chip, sorry. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty thick, so I expected that. Should be 24, yeah, because bump is two, eight is 22. Wedge should be pretty light. Six, six is actually pretty good for a driver that's thin. So now putting the whole bay with mediocre teeth on here, the weight is 45. 45 is actually not that bad for a god bay because like Spriggan Requiem was like 46. So this, I don't really get how it's 45 because the disc is obviously the same, but Requiem's layer was, I'm pretty sure it was like 16 grams or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's pretty close to the weight of Requiem, which is not bad at all. Uh, now that we're gonna get the standard stadium pretty soon, like it's been really late in delivery, but now that we're gonna get the standard stadium, we won't be using the Snake Pit Stadium for test spins. So just the big stadium now. Seeing as we're only doing a test battle in one stadium, and there's usually two bays, why not put the two bays in one stadium? Valkyrie, Ragnarok, and Treptune. Okay. Yeah, Treptune's pretty unstable. Yeah, I expected that, because the tip is pretty thin. It's doing pretty well, though. Rocktivore is... Ooh, first finish. Rocktivore got two clicks. Valkyrie got one click, so... Yeah, God Valkyrie is pretty tight, not too expected. Berserk Rocktivore actually has pretty bad teeth, so for Berserk to get two and Treptune to get uh, burst is not exactly good, but it did take that attack from Valkyrie near the end of the battle. So it's teeth, you know, worse than Berserk Rocktivore, but not as bad as Hazard Curveus or Crash Ragnarok. So overall thoughts on Overall thoughts on this bay, it's pretty heavy. You know, it's unstable because the tip is pretty thin and bump and the layer are pretty thick. Um, it doesn't have the best of teeth overall, not too great, but uh, you know, at least now actually, because Crash Ragnarok stop combo is Crash Ragnarok 11 reach wedge. We have the stop combo for Crash Ragnarok, obviously. We don't have the frame, but that's fine. We could just give it a random frame, like Vortex. Like, we have the stock combo for Guys Fafnir, and we gave it Glaive. So why not give this thing Vortex or something? So yeah, with this uh, unboxing, we actually have another bay. So that's cool. Yeah, so not too great. We do get a new stock combo with the Wedge Driver, though, and it's nice to get a recolor of the bump frame. So yeah, with that being said, thank you for watching. Make this video to five likes, I will be happy. If you enjoyed, hit the subscribe button. And with that being said, have fun, peace out, and don't forget to keep on blading.